Top Biz. Hello everyone. This is Muskan Verma and today I'm here to give an analysis of battery waste management rules 2022. On 24 August 2022, the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change as per the power delegated under the Environment Protection Act of 1986 published a notification relating to new battery waste management rule 2022 replacing the old battery waste management and handling rules of 2001 the newly amended rules have implemented the policy of epr producers of the batteries relating to management and regulation of waste batteries in the environment the newly amended rule have implemented the policy of extended producers responsibility on the producers of the batteries relating to management of waste battery in a environmentally sustainable or sound way these newly amended rules are applicable to any producers dealers other entities or consumers who are involved in collection transportation or segregation or any other process that is related to waste management of battery beside these this rule are not only limited to lead battery or lithium ion battery but also include all the other types of batteries regardless of its chemistry volume material composition shape weight and use it which include automotive batteries electric vehicle batteries industrial batteries and portable batteries these rules have many new provisions related to definition added responsibilities as well as authorization process now we have understood what does battery based management 2022 have introduced let's understand what are the main changes that are brought by the ministry so the ministry of environment environment forest and climate change to overcome the lacunas of battery based management rule of 2001 related to limited scope and lack of responsibilities on the producers have introduced many provisions these include the new key definitions which include the new newly introduced batteries more responsibilities epr pr authorization etc inclusion of extended producers responsibility and its authorization process provisions related to expanding the responsibilities of the producers manufacturers as well as the authorities that are included in the management of waste batteries and it has also introduced the newly centralized online portal where the authorization process can begin and at last it has introduced the concept of epr target which was earlier only limited to e waste and plastic waste management rules now let's understand what is apart from the newly introduced provisions what are the different type of batteries these rules have included the first being the automotive batteries so the automotive batteries are the batteries that are used only for lighting ignition power or automotive starters next is your electric vehicle battery which is any battery that is mainly designed to give power to electric or hybrid vehicles for road transport the third being the industrial batteries which include any and all batteries that are that are used in industries barring the uh, portable battery electric vehicle battery and automotive batteries and the last being what uh, the portable batteries so the portable batteries are the sealed weightless uh, weightless batteries that are less than 5 grams and are not made for industrial purposes or for uh, including in electric vehicles or automotive batteries so what are the key stakeholders that are included under this act let's understand that so the key stakeholders that are included under this act are producers who have a responsibility of uh, registering under the form 1a through centralized online portal the certificate for which will be issued under form 1b 
the second key stakeholder being the recycler who have the responsibility to acquire one time registration from the state pollution control board under form 2a through the centralized online portal the certificate for which will be granted under form 2b the third key stakeholder being the refurbisher who also have a responsibility to acquire one time registration from state pollution control board under form 2a through the online portal and the a certificate for which will be issued in form 2b the fourth being the other entities who have a responsibility to properly collect segregate recycle or refurbish the waste battery and the last being cpcb which defines the fee of handling and application for registration as well as the process of registration which should be finished under 2 weeks apart from these key stakeholders let's now go into the main highlight of this act which is extended producer's responsibility extended producer responsibility before being introduced under battery waste management rule was only limited to e waste and plastic waste but when the government saw apart from these uh, waste the battery waste is also increasing at alarming level and the producers are not doing anything they have included the added responsibilities on the producers who have to file for uh, the authorization uh, through the centralized online portal of cpcb they also have a responsibility under epr to fulfill their epr responsibility through the policy of buyback deposit refund scheme or any other scheme or model the producers can further delegate their responsibility if they are not able to uh, fulfill their responsibility by their own to other entities for properly environmentally sustainable way collect segregate recycle or refurbish the waste batteries so for epr responsibility one has to submit the epr plan so let's understand what does epr plan entails so epr plan or extended producer responsibility plan for battery manufactured should be submitted by the producers to the central pollution control board in form 1c by 30th june of every year again through the centralized online portal which should contain the details of the weight of the battery the quantity as well as the dry weight of the material of the battery also epr plan for 2022 and 2023 should be submitted by the producers within 3 months of this rule in under form 1c to the central pollution control board under epr plan epr targets are also mentioned for different batteries across the different years at last let's understand that if any producers in case did not fulfill its epr responsibility what will be the penalties that are mentioned under this act the stakeholders that are mentioned under this act or rule including the producers manufacturers recyclers refurbishers other entities if carry out their activity without acquiring any kind of authorization or obtain registration by providing false information or fact or submitting the forged document then they will be fined and have to submit the environmental compensation which is explained under the section 15 of environmental protection act of 1986 which is either decided by the cpcb or central pollution control board or by spcb that is your state pollution control board so for for more details on the epr plan the epr form or the responsibility you can check our blog analysis of battery waste management rule 2022 that is published on a corbis website so that includes a video on battery waste management rule 2022 For more such details and queries you may contact Corbis for the details provided below at Corbis we have excellent team of experts who can assist you regarding various environmental services you can also comment down below on any query that you may have for more such videos subscribe our channel and thank you